Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving another Putnam problem. So I solved this the other day with Feynman's technique, but we're going to try a different technique today. If you'd like to give this problem a shot, go ahead and pause the video and try it on your own. Otherwise, we're going to jump straight into the solution. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do kind of a more natural substitution than what we did last time. So when I see this, I see this 1 plus x squared in the denominator. So you may be tempted to try a substitution where u is equal to, or sorry, x is equal to tangent of theta. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that substitution. So we go ahead and get the integral, and now we're going from not 0 to 1, but we know that tangent of pi over 4 is equal to 1. So we're going to go from 0 to pi over 4. And we're going to have the natural log of 1 plus tangent of theta over 1 plus tangent squared of theta. And then we have to get dx. So we're going to see that dx is equal to secant squared of theta dx. So we're going to have that times secant squared of theta d, sorry, d theta. Okay, so as I look at this, I see that uh, in the bottom here, so 1 plus x squared is equal to secant squared of theta. So I can cancel out the secant squareds. So what I'm left with is the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of 1 plus tangent of theta, d theta. Okay. Um, and this is where we get to our trick. So this is why it's on the Putnam exam. It's very, very hard. We're going to do one more substitution that may make a little bit less sense. So we're going to use, um, instead of theta, we're going to do theta equals pi over 4 minus theta. Uh, I guess I'll change it back to x. So we'll go full circle here. So that's going to tell me that d theta is equal to negative dx. So what would that mean? So instead of going from 0 to pi over 4, I'm now going to be going from x equals, uh, when I go from pi over 4, that's going to give me theta equals 0. And 0 is going to give me theta equals pi over 4. And I'm going to have the natural log of 1 plus tangent of pi over 4 minus x times negative dx. So when I take this negative, I can reverse the order of integration. So this is just going to be the same as 0 to pi over 4 times the natural log of 1 plus, oops, I put my bracket in the wrong spot, up here. So the minus x is within that bracket. Uh, 1 plus tangent of pi over 4 minus x dx. All right, so that step right there may not make a whole lot of sense, but it's going to make a lot more sense in a second after we work through um, some magic here. So I'm going to rewrite this as the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of 1 plus sine of pi over 4 minus x over cosine of pi over 4 minus x. And I'm going to remind you of a few identities, trig identities. So if I have sine of a minus b, that's going to be equal to sine of a cosine of b minus sine of b cosine of a. And similarly, cosine of a minus b is going to be equal to cosine of a cosine of b minus sine of a sine of b. So we're going to use those substitutions. I'm going to rewrite my integral as the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of 1 plus. And then instead of sine of pi over 4 minus x, I'm going to do sine of pi over 4 times, sine of, times cosine of negative x. So we're going to get um, square root of 2 over 2 times cosine 
of x minus square root of 2 over 2 times uh, sine of x divided by square root of 2 over 2, that's the cosine of pi over 4, times cosine of x minus square root of 2 over 2 times or plus, sorry, so plus, sorry, I messed up my equation here, so this should be a plus, plus square root of 2 over 2 times sine of x. dx, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply out this 1, so we're going to rewrite this as the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of, I have the denominator out here, so I can just go ahead and cancel out all my root twos. So I'm going to kill all those. So I'm going to be left with cosine x plus sine x over cosine x plus sine x plus cosine x minus sine of x over cosine x plus sine x dx which is the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of now 2 cosine x over cosine x plus sine x. All right, so what do we do now? So let's rewrite this. So we have a logarithm with a division inside. So let's write this as the difference of ln of 2 cosine x minus the natural log of cosine x plus sine x. And I'm going to do one more kind of fancy substitution. I'm going to multiply this guy by cosine x over cosine x. Okay, so what is my reason for doing that? Well, let's we'll take a look at what that does for us. So when I do that, I'm going to have the natural log of 2 cosine x on the left. And then I'm going to have minus, if I divide this cosine x through, I get 1 plus sine of x over cosine of x, which is ln of 1 plus tangent of x. And then what I can do is then I have then times cosine of x. So that's going to be plus the natural log of cosine of x. So this guy is from the numerator. And then the denominator is going through dx. So now I have uh, a little bit going on here. So Let's go ahead and now take a look at what this does for us. So when I'm looking at what I have here, I now have ln of 2 cosine x minus ln of cosine x. So I have this term and I have this term. So I can go ahead and take that as the natural log of 2 cosine x divided by cosine x. So we have a little bit of nice cancellation here with the cosine x's. And then this is going to be minus the natural log of 1 plus tangent x dx. And if I wanted, I could write this as two separate integrals, which is what I'm about to do. So I can write this as dx minus the integral of this guy from 0 to pi over 4 dx. And what I notice is that this right side is actually exactly equal to my equation that I started with up here. So what I have, what I've done, is if I pull this to the other side, I now see that I have 2 times the integral from 0 to pi over 4 natural log of 1 plus tangent of x dx is equal to this guy, which is the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of 2 
dx. Can we give him some goblins and that is pretty nice integral to solve here. So this guy is just going to be equal to ln of 2 times pi over 4. So my final answer is going to be my integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of 1 plus tangent of x dx, which happens to be my original integral, which is the integral from 0 to 1 of the natural log of 1 plus x over 1 plus x squared dx is equal to the natural log of 2 times pi divided by 8, because I'm dividing out that 2. And that is going to be my final solution. So you can check out my other video where I did Feynman's technique to solve the same problem. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. If you have your own video or your own uh, problem, please submit it and you might see it in a future video. And as you're working through problems, think once, think twice, and when you get stuck, think thrice.